What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. It's been almost two years since I made a lesson on advanced nouns. So today I got the third edition with 10 C2 nouns. Their level is determined by the Cambridge Dictionary. Are you ready to expand your vocabulary? If so, grab a pen and your vocabulary notebook and let's get going. So let's get started. The first C2 noun on my list today is blow. And the preposition that goes after this noun is to. A blow to someone or something. A blow is an unexpected and sudden event that hurts or damages someone or something. We talk about a negative experience here. And after each noun, I'm going to give you three sample sentences. The first one, coronavirus was a severe blow to travel sector. The second example, Peter's resignation was a terrible blow to his boss. And one more example here, losing the war would be a shattering blow to Putin's pride. And now let's move on to the second noun, contempt. It's a strong feeling of disliking and having no respect for someone or something. And now a few simple sentences. The first one, I can help having complete contempt for Putin. Number two, I have a lot of contempt for people who threaten the world with nuclear weapons. And we can also say to look at someone or to glare at someone with contempt. For example, I glared at him with contempt. To glare at someone means to look at someone in an angry way. Number three, deception. It's the act of deliberately making someone believe something that is not true. The first example, he was accused of deception by cooking the books. The idiom to cook the books means to change numbers dishonestly in the accounts. Number two, the notorious Tinder swindler got a lot of money by deception. I watched a documentary about him on Netflix, and it's unbelievable. And one more example here, the Russian elaborate deception of the masses exceeds all limits. Number four, downward spiral. It's a situation in which something, such as a price, decreases rapidly, or a situation gets worse and is difficult to control because one bad event causes another and in the end everything is going downhill. The first example, the war in Ukraine triggered a downward spiral on a global level. Number two, she's been in the downward spiral since the car accident. And one more example here, staying at home and lying in bed will only create a vicious downward spiral. Number five, edge. This noun has multiple meanings and one of them is a slight advantage over other people. And now let's look at some examples. The first example, Ukraine has the edge over Russia because the truth is on our side. Number two, our rival has the edge on us. And one more example, your extensive experience can give you the edge over other candidates. And guys, before we continue and learn five more C2 nouns, just a super quick reminder. If you like today's lesson, please don't forget to like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure you do so. Thank you very much. And now let's continue with our lesson. Number six, the upper hand and the verbs that could be used with this noun are to have, to get, or to gain the upper hand. It also means to have an advantage and to have a more powerful position. And now let's look at three examples. Number one, both sides are trying to get the upper hand in the negotiations. 
Number two, I have the upper hand at high altitude because I'm shorter than you. And one more example here, I hope the Russian opposition will start gaining the upper hand. Number seven, feet. It's something difficult, needing a lot of skill, strength, or courage to achieve it. I have a short in which I explain how you can remember this word easily. If you haven't seen it yet, you can find the card right here and also a link down below. The first example, finishing my first ever marathon with my leg in pain was quite a fit. The second example, Queen Sofia Palace of Arts in Valencia is a remarkable feat of modern architecture. And one more example, be proud of yourself for achieving such an astonishing feat. Number nine, a pioneer. The stress goes at the end and the prepositions that could be used after a pioneer are in or of something. So a pioneer is a person who is one of the first people to do something. And now three examples. The first one, Coco Chanel was a pioneer female clothing designer. Number two, Mark Zuckerberg is a pioneer of social networks. And one more example here, Elon Musk will be remembered as an electric car pioneer. Two more to go, number nine, a rally. A rally is a public meeting of a large group of people in order to support a particular idea. And now three examples. Number one, a lot of rallies in support of Ukraine have been held around the world. Number two, there hasn't been a mass rally against the war in Russia. And a rally can also mean a car or a motorcycle race, especially over long distances. For example, I had the chance to attend a Dakar rally in Peru. And last but not least, the ins and outs of something. It means all the details, especially the complicated or difficult ones. The first example, she can advise you on the ins and outs of the tax laws. Number two, we don't know the ins and outs of the Kremlin. And one more example, he knows the ins and outs of the stock market. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this video up to the very end. If you want to learn more advanced nouns, check out the two previous editions right here. And of course, if you enjoyed today's lesson and found it useful, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits, and remember that you can catch me on Instagram, where I teach English every day. Thank you for joining me today and have a lovely Sunday and see you next Wednesday with a shorts and next Sunday with a long lesson as usual. Have a good one. Ciao for now!